Hello everybody, I'm just finishing up uh, what is going to be a hat for my three-year-old grandson. I just wanted to show you how I piece this together here. Sew it together. I'm just finishing up my last row. I've already made two hats for his little sister. She's two years old. Okay, this is my last stitch. I'm just gonna pull this. Then I'm gonna be sewing it. When I first started this, I chained, of course, this way. It was my first. Now, that is eight and a half inches. And then I went, this is 12 inches. So I'm going to be folding it this way. And I'm going to take my yarn and go one, two, three. Then I'm going to cut it. Now, first thing you do is take this tail and put it through that last loop. Pull it tight. And that's your knot. Then I just tie these two. This was my initial tail that I started with when I first started my project. This is what I'm ending with. And I kept going back and forth until I ended on this side because I'm going to just tie these two together. I don't go by any pattern. This is just my own little. And I'm going to just tie these together to make sure it stays where it's supposed to stay and for a little added security. Okay. Now, we're going to sew along this. See, it's not perfectly even either. Okay. Take our long tail that we just had. Fold the yarn over like this, and your yarn should fit right through the needle. As long as you fold it over, it goes through so much easier. And we leave about that much hanging and we just start sewing. Okay, we'll have the two ends go. Okay, so this, what I'm sewing now is going to be I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. It's going to be the side of the hat. And then, of course, we're going to take everything and put it inside out. And I did order some fur pom-poms. They're going to be used for the girls' hats because... I'm going to make some regular yarn ones, but pom-poms are kind of a pain to make. Very time-consuming. But the ones you buy in bulk, they're all so tiny. But I found, I think it's 12 pom-poms for like $12 in their fur. So that should be cute. This is only my third, third hat. And I figured this color might be all right for a boy. My son wants me to make him that Jamaican kind of slouch hat, but I'm thinking I might be able to do that on my circular needles and knit it instead of crochet it. I'm not real good at following instructions, so I kind of do my own thing. So we'll get this side sewn up and then of course one end is going to be the rolled up cuff or it can just be a beanie hat and the other end we're going to weave together. weave the string in and out, I mean, and 
cinch it together. Now see, this is not even perfectly straight, so no worries. Like I said, I just do this for fun to see what I can do. I'm still trying to figure out knitting um, all of the abbreviations so I can follow a pattern. I know the front, the front back, the yarn over, the, um, I don't know, these different ones, drop a stitch, never been good at following written directions, I'm better at watching someone else do it. So this is sewn now. Actually, I'm just going to go back one more time. I'm just going to pause it for a minute so you don't have to watch this. It's boring. Okay. I'm at the end. So I went down and then back up. Make sure it's secure. And I'm just going to go through one and tie that to the same one I tied it to to begin with. Now I'll weave the ends in after. So this is going to be the cuff. Well, we're going to turn it inside out, but I'm going to weave the top together. And you can actually, if, you, if I would have made this longer, I could have just used the same piece to weave it together. Live and learn, right? Learn from my mistakes every time. Fold this over. Give it a little wiggle. Pulls right through. Okay. Now, I'm going to start in the front and just weave in and out, in and out. Throw. Leave a tail there and just keep going around the entire hat. the simplest way I figured out how to do it. Almost done. start. Okay, that's it then. One more. Okay, now just cinch it together. Nice and tight. And that's the top of our hat. Then we sew it. Okay, there it is. I'm going to tie these together. The one, the both ends that I use to cinch it. Then I'm going to sew the top up just a little bit, just to make sure that hole is tightly shut. And then, if you sew a pom-pom on that area, 
It won't show. This needle's too thick. Oh, come on. Okay, so. And that's where you're going to sew on your pom-pom or, oh, sorry, tassels or anything you want. So I'm going to weave in the ends after. I just want to show you. And that's it. The hat. I'm going to go back in and weave in my ends. And that's that. Easy peasy. Have a good night, everybody.